All right, I think we're going to go ahead and get started here. So welcome, everyone. I see quite a few people who have been to our previous streams and some new faces as well. So whether you have been here for a long time or this is your first time in stream, welcome to all of you. Uh, we're going to be picking up with Wolf again, but uh, don't worry. I'll kind of explain what's happening as we go on. And we're going to go ahead and we'll hit play simulation. And we've been playing in the plains as Rumor. And we will be continuing to do so. We'll be following her story, hopefully, until uh, until she can have pups and even beyond. And uh, so, let's see. <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm getting my volume set up. Hopefully you guys can all hear me okay. Um, and uh, hopefully, yeah, if you guys can, if you guys can hear me, let me know. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you all can hear me. <laughs> Um, and, uh, if you have audio problems, please let me know just so that I can, uh, try to address them if I am able to. So, let's go ahead and we will load Rumor's file and get into game. Um, let's see. Uh, welcome to everyone. I see several people who are new and uh, quite a few people who have been here before as well. Uh, hi, how are you? Someone says, I'm... I am doing pretty well. I'm thankfully not sick like last week. I unfortunately did miss the stream uh, the last time because I caught some bug that was going around and so that was a little bit unpleasant. Uh, but thankfully I'm feeling a lot better now and uh, we should be good to go here hopefully. And okay, it sounds like you guys can hear me. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, hopefully <laughs> hopefully it all is, is going okay there. And here we are, we're gonna be in-game in just a moment, and it's winter, I forgot it's already so wintry. Um, what scents are there around? I don't smell too much, we're doing well on food and water, uh, the rest of the pack seems to be doing alright. So let's go ahead and we'll just sleep through the night. I think our den is right here, right? It's just this way. Yeah, there we go. It's right here. So we'll go ahead and sleep by the den. We don't necessarily have to stay by the den, it's just kind of nice <laughs> uh, to be, have kind of a centralized location to uh, come and go from. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm glad to not be sick anymore either. It, it's uh, not fun being sick, it makes it hard to work, and uh, definitely, definitely complicates things. Um, pardon me as I get some water here too. Here we go. And it is morning. How? Uh, the scents seem to be okay. Is this our pack right up here? I think it is. We're gonna see if, uh, if it is them and if so what they're up to. If it's not, then we have a problem because that means there's another wolf on our territory. Uh, so, hello, who's over here? Hello, this is Silence. Okay. And... I think it seems like everything's alright. Let's get some water too. Or right, can we drink from the snow? Um, if we stop, no, it won't let us drink from the snow for whatever reason, so let's go ahead and make our way back to the pond before we leave an area that has water, because water can be a difficult resource to find in the plains. So, let's see, um, oh, I thank you, Firefox, um, yeah, wolves are very, very cool, um, and, uh, oops, I didn't mean to bark, <laughs> I keep doing that, I always hit bark instead of nose. Uh, let's go this way and see what this uh, carcass up here is all about. Um, but yeah, wolves are really, really cool. I love wolves as well. Uh, can I play more Wolf Quest? I will be playing more Wolf Quest for sure. This is probably one of the questions I get asked the most on this channel. Uh, we will be going back to Wolf Quest, but Wolf Quest is getting ready for a very big update, and I'm waiting for more news on that, because if it's going to come out in the very new near future, and I think we're going to try and catch this caribou, by the way, um, but I'm waiting for more news about that, because I don't know exactly how soon it's coming out, and if it's coming out within the next few months here, then I think I'm just going to wait, and we'll start our next season once we get to the uh, the new update. But if it's going to be a while yet, then uh, I will go ahead and start the season. But we need to know which it's going to be first, and uh, we don't yet. <laughs> uh, we don't have a very, a very good estimate at this time. So I'm waiting for the team to release more info on that before I go ahead and decide when we're going to do our next season, because uh, I don't want to get interrupted by the new update. Um, so let's see. Uh, why is there a bark option? That's an excellent question. So... Uh, in game and in real life, wolves will actually bark to uh, alert the pack of danger. And so if there's a human nearby, like you could see when I did nose just then, there was a human that was about five spaces up. And so let's say that human was only one way and our pack was sleeping. Well, we could bark. Oh my! 
Oh, 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 okay. Um... Well... <laughs> um... This is... Oh, 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 okay, this is actually a perfect opportunity for the other, uh, unintended feature of the bark option. And that is, why is everything lagging? So for some reason the plane lagged it out massively. Um... So... That's the other unintended effect of the bark feature. So, traditionally, the bark is used to warn the pack of danger. So, if there was a human right there and they were all sleeping, you could go ahead and bark to um, all right, you could go ahead and bark to alert them. <laughs> but the other function of the bark, uh, the bark option is that you can use it to escape dying to a plane like that. Now, what we've decided we do with this is that we do generally in the series allow. Uh, us to use that escape feature because the planes are a little bit like if you get shot by it from a plane then there's absolutely nothing you can do it's an instant game over and in the actual in the game they're supposed to have sound but it's because the game is so old the sound is actually broken and so it's basically an instant silent death that unless you happen to be looking Unless you happen to be looking in the exact right place at the right time, like just then, there's really nothing you can do to escape them. And so because of that, we do allow it as a bit of a trade-off. We've allowed ourselves to uh, use that glitch to escape. Just because they're supposed to have sound, you're supposed to have more warning, but you don't actually have that much warning. Um, we need to get back to the den. <laughs> uh, because there's bad things happening around here. Um... And uh, let's see. But yeah, uh, perfect timing to ask that question. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's why if you see us doing that, we allow that just because uh, the planes are already quite uh, overpowered, in my opinion. And um, because they're also slightly glitched out because the sound doesn't work, they're much more disastrous than they're meant to be. And so we allow that as a trade-off, as a sort of diving out of the way and managing to escape thing if we manage to bark while we're, um, <laughs> while we're, we're, uh, while, while the plane is flying over. So, let's see. Um, is there a poll for the air to season three? I'm assuming you mean for Wolf Quest. So we're actually already in, we actually already completed season four. And so there's not a poll up for season four yet because, uh, from what we know, there will be some a lot. There will be a lot of changes. I think even to the design of the wolves in season uh, or in uh, Wolf Quest Three. And so I'm waiting for that before I create the air pole, or I'm waiting for more news on that at the very least before we start doing that. Because uh, if more design options are possible or whatnot, then we'll want to work that in for when we create our airs. Um, let's see. Um, all right. Uh, I do see all of you guys. I um. I, I have, I noticed all of you. <laughs> Some people are going, notice me. Uh, and I do see all of you. I'm re I read pretty much every comment that we have. Uh, but I, I don't, unless somebody is asking a question specifically, I generally don't shout out to people because if I shout out one person, then I have to shout out everybody. And so unless you've asked a question or... Uh, and I'm dealing with the question, or like if you're a supporter or whatnot, I usually don't give shout outs because we'd be here all day just giving shout outs. Because there's a lot of you guys. There's 17 people on right now, and that's not even as crowded as it has gotten. Um, so let's see. Um, how does this game work? Basically, Wolf is uh, a game where you have to try and survive as a wolf, and there's a lot of dangers. So, like, mostly, they're mostly human based in this game. And so it can be a pretty dangerous life, and we need to be careful with that plane uh, flying around. Uh, because if it shows up again, we could be in some trouble. Um, make sure you guys are listening to the moderators. They are in authority, and uh, I have chosen them to keep order in the chat. And um, if you guys are not able to keep order in the chat, then you may be removed. And if this continues to be a problem, this is the kind of reason that I might have to stop live streaming. So please make sure that uh, you're listening to the mods and respecting them. Um, Wolf is a very old game, though. So it's actually from 1994. It's uh, so old that it doesn't run normally on most computers. You have to get a special program even just to run it. <laughs> and um, it's, uh, it's, so, it's very, very old, but it's still a really great game. And while it does have a few glitches, it's, for the most part, a very, very well-rounded game. And it's one of, the, one of my favorite old games that I've seen so far. It's very well done. 
Um, and I would highly recommend it. It is a great game. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to go through chat, so pardon me for a moment while I keep it paused. Uh, why- okay, why didn't we die when the plane, uh, when the plane flew over like that? Because we used a- one of the few glitches that I've found in this game, which is that if you bark as you're, uh, being attacked by the plane, it will actually cause you not to die. Again, the reason we use that glitch is because ordinarily the planes are supposed to have sound, but sound doesn't work in our version of the game here, uh, because, again, it was meant to run on really old systems, and while we have programs that can run it, uh, they don't do it perfectly. And so because of that, I do allow us to use that glitch to get out of the way, just because otherwise there's virtually no warning and it's a little bit unfair. <laughs> Whereas you're supposed to be able to hear them coming. Uh, right now you just have to use sight constantly, basically. Otherwise there's no escape. Uh, what rank is Rumor? I believe she is alpha right now. And keep in mind, this game, yes, she is. This game uses the old ranking system, which has alpha, beta support in it, omega. And uh, that's... Uh, since been simplified, so basically now most uh, packs tend to consist of, um, uh, they'll consist of a dominant pair and their offspring, and that's not the case in the wolf packs here. Uh, the old system was based off of, uh, captive wolf packs, which are generally unrelated individuals, and so they do have a more complicated ranking system. Uh, but in generally, when you have a family pack, it's just gonna be parents uh, possibly their children, and then sometimes it extends beyond that, and in that case it is uh, pro still proper to use the term alpha as far as I understand if you have a pack with multiple breeding pairs. But in a small pack where it's usually just mom, dad, and the, and the babies, <laughs> uh, then generally you can just refer to them as the breeding pair and it still gets the point across. Uh, basically the, the main time when it's a, c still considered accurate to use the term alpha is when you have a pack with multiple breeding pairs and you're referring to the most dominant um, of those breeding pairs because there still usually is a leading animal or a leading pair in a pack. It's just not quite as detailed of a ranking system as we used to think it was. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, here we go. This game is basically you have to survive as a wolf. It's kind of like Wolf Quest but a lot older and 2D and very different in many respects but with a similar premise. Um, let me see. Uh, yes, the mods are the ones, the mods are the ones that are in blue there. Um, ooh, don't run into fences. That, that sounds painful. Uh, you could be careful with that. Don't, don't get hurt. <laughs> um, let's see. How do you know there's a plane? So when a plane flies over, you can see that shadow. And, uh, that shadow is basically your indicator to get the heck out of the way, or you're going to die, or as a last resort, we have our ability to use the bark glitch, but again, that's if they don't fly up so suddenly that we have no chance to even see them. So there still is a very real possibility that we may not uh, survive having a, a run in with a plane, and that's why I do find it acceptable to use the glitch in some circumstances as well, because uh, you still have to be fast enough to, and uh, collected enough to remember <laughs> that you can do that, otherwise you're still going to be in trouble. Um, let's see. Um, you have to, okay, so to play this game you have to get DOSBox. I actually included all those links in the description. Uh, DOSBox basically is a program, because when this game was created, we didn't have normal computer, or not normal, but computers like today, so now we have, we have Windows, we have Apple, we have Linux, we have all these different types of, oh, is this a caribou? This is a caribou. I thought I saw a caribou, but running off screen. <laughs> um, but... Uh, okay, oh, I didn't want to attack twice. Uh, but yeah, so basically this game is so old that it predates those. And uh, computers back in the day ran a lot differently, they were a lot simpler and a lot different. And so to even run them on computers nowadays, you have to have a special program to run the game. And that program, the one I'm using at least, is called DOSBox. And so basically what that does is it makes the game think it's running on an old computer so it'll actually play. <laughs> um, it's kind of, it's complicated, it's coding, uh, but basically that's uh, how things work here. We don't have to actually sit and watch that whole cutscene. I just remember we can skip them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you have to have a special program just to run this game because it won't run normally on Windows or Mac or Linux or anything like that. Um, you do have to have a special program, but I've actually included links to all of that in the video description. Um, let's see. 
Um, let me see. Oh, yeah. Su the Super Bowl is basically... So we have our American football. Not soccer. We call soccer... Some of you guys are probably thinking, what, soccer? But no, we have our, our own American football. Um, it's not soccer. <laughs> it's not what we call soccer. And the, the big game for that is today. Um, I'm actually not watching it. I'm not that into football. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it is today. So... Might be a bit of a small crowd if a lot of people are watching the Super Bowl. Um, can we get back to Wolf Quest and Life of a Cougar? So, like I explained with Wolf Quest earlier, they're going to be doing a huge update soon, and we I'm waiting for more information on that before we decide when we're going to go back in. Depending on if it looks like it's going to be really late in the year, we'll probably try and do season five before the update comes out. If it looks like the update is going to be coming within probably the next couple of months here or whatever. Um, then I will go ahead and wait on that and we'll wait for the update to come out before we go into Season 5. So it kind of just depends with that. Uh, as for Untamed, I'm giving that one a bit of a break, but we'll probably be back to that one at some point soon, especially if more people do want to see it. And um, depending on... Uh, I try to gauge how much people um, want to see of certain games. We might actually play Sarion first, because we haven't done that one in a while and it sounds like both, they're both updating, and uh, it sounds like they have some cool new features that will be uh, that have come into the game since uh, I last played that. So we might um, we might do some with Sarian before we go back to Untamed. Basically, I try to rotate through seasons so that uh, we have uh, we have season breaks a lot of the time, just because I don't think um, like I don't want to I don't, I want to give all of our games a little bit of a chance. Uh, to have their own seasons, and so uh, we'll kind of switch off between them. And if people really want to see a game, I do try to accommodate that, but I try to, because a lot, mo no matter what game I'm playing, there's always going to be someone asking for me to play a different game, but there's only so much time that I have on my hands, <laughs> so I do try to rotate through and see, uh, and try to make sure I'm covering all the games people want to see me play. So we'll probably give another game a chance in between here before we go back to Untamed. Um... Let's see. Uh, I do watch the chat. I do my best, but sometimes it um, sometimes it's a little bit uh, difficult to keep up with because uh, you guys post a lot. Not that I mind, but uh, as I'm trying to play a game and uh, and uh, chat or and watch the chat, that can be a bit much to keep up with sometimes. Um, let's see. Uh, am I ever going to go back to Untold Tales? Um, I'm watching Untold Tales. The other thing I do that I don't know if a lot of people know that I actually do this is I watch other game or I watch my old videos and I see uh, what people are watching. So if people are watching a lot of a certain series, then a lot of the time that will be something that I'll come back to or if people are asking for it a lot in the comments, so that's something I'll come back to. I watch to see how each series is doing and if one series starts picking up interest again for whatever reason, um, then a lot of the time that will be the one that I will give um, that I will give more attention to. Well, unfortunately, Untold Tales has not, at least the last time I checked, been getting that much attention. People haven't seemed all that interested in it, uh, and so for now, it's on my on-hold list. Now, if that changes, and it very well might change, back when I first started the channel, Wolf was probably the least popular game I had, and then out of nowhere, people started watching those videos, and everybody suddenly wanted to see Wolf. Uh, so it can change, don't despair, just because a game's not popular on the channel right now doesn't mean it won't ever be. Uh, but right now, as far as I know, Untold Tales has uh, not been doing as well as a lot of my other series have. Um, it, there hasn't been a huge amount of interest. I haven't really seen a, a huge number of people asking for, oh, why is there a human? Okay. Uh, some distance out, so I think we'll be alright. But, um, because I haven't been seeing it getting that much interest and I haven't seen a lot of people asking for it, I've seen more requests for other games than I have for Untold Tales right now. Um, it won't be coming back for the time being, but if that changes, and it very well could change, and especially if you like, if you like a series, definitely speak up about it and tell other people to watch it and, uh, tell me that you want to see more of it because that's how I know what you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, it may be back at some point in the future. I hope it will be. I really enjoyed it. But uh, for now, it's on one of my standby series. So let's see. Um, all right. Yeah, uh, different names for different things. It's cultural. So like I said, what's football here is other people call soccer, what we call soccer football. <laughs> it's a little bit complicated. 
Um, but our football is a little bit different than most of the world's football. <laughs> um, we call their football soccer. It's complicated, but yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> um, and I don't really know why that happened, but it happened. Um, let's see. Um, it's alright if you guys are talking, just make sure you're listening to the mods and uh, know that I can't get to every question. I'll do my best, but I may not answer everything might not respond to every comment, although I will do my best to uh, get to as many of them as I can. Um, let's see, how's Ryan's Quest doing? Excellent question. Um, so, we are still planning to open artist applications, like I said. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm also working on an animated series called Ryan's Quest. Um, it's actually doing really, really well. I've been able to work quite a lot on it lately. The team has been working really hard, and uh, we're very excited to hopefully bring you guys the intro for that pretty soon here. And once we get that off the ground and get working on that some more, then hopefully we will be able to open the artist applications like we planned. We were going to try and do it in January, and January ended up being a lot busier for us than we realized it was going to be. So that's kind of just life. That's how these things go. Uh, but we definitely have some very big plans, and we're very excited to share a lot of what we've been working on Um with you guys. The other thing that uh, I can finally say, I was uh, it was all still in process and so I didn't want to talk about it just yet, is we actually have um, undergone a design change. And so that was the biggest reason that everything's been taking a long time is because we weren't really satisfied with the quality of what we have and we feel like quality is going to be more important than getting things out super fast. Uh, generally, I feel like a lot of people would rather wait longer for something that's better than to have something come out that's kind of half-baked and just mediocre at best. <laughs> so we've been going through, we've, we've redesigned, we're, we've redone the art style, and I'm very excited to share those changes with you. And that's been another reason we hesitated to open the applications when we did, because we were in the middle of all these design changes and we wanted to get that all sorted out before then we start taking new people on the team. We didn't want to throw them into all that chaos. But now that all of that is getting settled out and we're getting uh, getting all that sorted, uh, work is resuming, it's going pretty well, and uh, we're hopefully going to be bringing you the, uh, the opening intro to the series that will be playing at the beginning of the episodes, uh, hopefully soon. I'm hoping within the next month, but again, uh, this is animation. <laughs> um, things can things can change pretty rapidly, and unforeseen difficulties have a way of coming up. So I'm tentatively saying I hope for this month. Um, thing is, animation definitely follows the law, Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will, and at the worst possible time. So... I'd like to say it'll be this month. I certainly hope it'll be this month. If things continue the way that they're going, it'll be this month. But I don't want to get, confirm that until we're a little bit closer. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, okay. What happens to Wolf if you play it on the speed most computers run on today? That is an excellent question. Um, that is an absolutely excellent question. Unfortunately, you guys can't see the uh, DOSBox window that I'm watching. So basically, the program I'm running it on, DOSBox, actually accounts for that. And it will restrict the game to run at a certain um, at a certain amount of or a certain number of uh, I guess it'd be ticks per second or whatever. Uh, it will restrict the game from running too fast because otherwise it would go at super speed. But that's actually how I accomplish the time skips because you can unlock that and allow it to run at the full speed that it's capable of. See, back in the day, computers when this first came out weren't all that powerful. Uh, they didn't run all that fast and they didn't have a lot of processing power. There were much much weaker Weaker than the computers we have today and so the game was naturally like it naturally couldn't run too fast because the computers themselves just couldn't handle it because computers are so much better if we just ran it at its normal speed without slowing it down it would run so fast you couldn't even um couldn't e even uh couldn't even handle it so i'm gonna show you something here uh but i'm gonna save first because if I don't save, there's a good possibility that I could die. So this is the normal speed, and I'm gonna put it- I'm gonna unlock the speed for just a moment here. The music's gonna go all weird, you'll hear that. But this is what happens if I put it in super speed. 
So that's allowing the game to run as fast as it possibly can. <laughs> um, and DOSBox naturally doesn't let it do that, but that's actually how I time skip in this, is I will put it into autoplay and I will, um, I will, I will just play it, um, at full speed while it's on autoplay, so the NPCs will all go do their own thing, <laughs> and, um, it won't be, it won't be an issue for the most part, uh, but that's how I accomplish the time skip, is that I just run it super fast like that, and I can get through, like, a month in ten minutes, <laughs> as opposed to it taking, what, we've gone through a month in, like, four hours. So it's uh, it's quite a bit faster, and that is actually how I do the time skips. And you can hear even the music goes all weird and sped up when I do that. That's because it was built to run at that slower speed. So kind of cool thing. Uh, very good question. Uh, I do apologize if I'm missing some questions too. I'm doing my best to keep up with the chat, but it is quite a lot, and uh, so I'm not always going to keep up perfectly. <laughs> so if it's been a long time and I haven't gotten to your question, you can repost it. Just make sure you're not posting it like every three seconds or whatever because um, uh, otherwise that does start to get irritating. Uh, we're doing pretty well, so we're gonna go ahead and sleep. Um, let's see, can you get a mate in this game? So, uh, we have a mate. Actually, that's one thing too, is if you guys did not see the last episode, Rumor is actually expecting puppies and she will be having them in the springtime. So if you look at her right now, so Muzzlelad is her mate. Now the subordinates like Silence here actually can fight you for that, but um, I don't think Silence will because she's much weaker than us right now. Uh, but you can see we're three years and nine months. Once that gets to four years, uh, Rumor will have her pups. She actually is expecting at the moment. We found that out last time. And, um, so yeah, you can have a mate, but the thing is other, uh, it's not quite, wolves tend to be, most wolves tend to be fairly uh, monogamous, which means that they have one mate, uh, and for the most part they will, uh, they'll stick together, but in this game it's a little bit less settled on you have a mate and it's whoever's the alpha is the one who gets to mate. <laughs> so another wolf might try to fight you for your mate in this game, but that's not quite how it happens in reality. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, so I haven't kept up with Minecraft Story Mode with playing the game as much. Unfortunately, that was one that it didn't get as much interest, and then I was also super busy when Episode 4 came out, and pretty busy when Episode 5 came out, and so I just haven't kept up with that as much as I would like to. Uh, I would like to come back and, uh, and play them at some point, because they do seem very good, and I ha I'm very attached to that game, um, but I don't know if I will just, I don't know when that'll happen. It may be a while. Um, unfortunately, um, Minecraft Story Mode is kind of a little bit more experimental as far as the games I play on this channel, and we're gonna try and kill that caribou, by the way. Um, but it's been a little bit more experimental, and that's concerning. We gotta watch the human, uh, because it's very different from most of the games I play on the channel, and I do experiment like that sometimes. I like to see if people are interested in different things, but for the most part, those games don't do quite as well, and that has been the case with Minecraft Story Mode. Unfortunately, people just haven't been quite as interested as they have in some of the other series, and so it's a little bit, a uh, little bit less, um, less popular, and with something like that, I do try to deliver the content you guys are looking for, and, well, we do have a very, very small, devoted, and very devoted Minecraft Story Mode fan base here. Uh, it's not all that big, and the greater population of the channel doesn't tend to be as interested in it. So, if I get the chance, yeah, I definitely would like to go back and play it, but right now I've had to be focusing my energy other places. <laughs> um, so I definitely would like to play it if I get the chance, though. Um, Alright, we just gotta keep chasing this guy. How are we doing here? Um, let's see. Uh, a while ago in a video you mentioned the possibility of playing the actual Zoo Tycoon 2. Is that still a game you're thinking of playing? I would like to see you, uh, see it if you have the time. Yes, that's a really good point. Um, that's been on my possibly play this list for a long time. I don't actually have it installed on this computer. I know I was able to run it on my laptop, but I haven't tested it on here for a while. Or I haven't tested it on here, period, and I haven't, uh, I haven't... I've uh, gotten those discs out for a while. <laughs> so I definitely would like to play Zoo Tycoon 2 at some point. I think that'd be really, really fun. Um, but uh, I haven't I haven't yet, and it's because we have so many series we're going through at the moment and so many different things that we're playing right now, 
Um, I'm kind of waiting for there to be a lull in my schedule and for some of our existing series to kind of slow up and wrap up a little bit so that I have more empty spaces in my scheduling where I could play something like that. I do not know why this game is running so slowly right now. Um, it's just being kind of slow and I think we should be able to kill this caribou. Um, let's see. Uh, do I encourage, how much do I encourage fan art uh, I actually, I love seeing you guys' fan art. You guys have sent me some really cool stuff. I'm always getting fan art in the Discord, in my email. Uh, I get a lot of fan art, and I honestly, I love seeing you guys' fan art. You all are a very creative bunch, and uh, it, it's kind of a, it's an honestly amazing thing to, uh, to, to think about the fact that this content that I'm producing, people are actually wanting to do fan art for. That's a very amazing thing for me, and it's kind of hard to get my head around sometimes, but I really love seeing what you guys come up with. Uh, I love seeing all of you guys' fan art, and uh, I, I think it's great that and amazing, and I'm very honored that you guys uh, want to draw fan art for these series. And so if you guys have fan art in almost all of my series, except for, well, Probably except for this one, pretty much. Uh, I will have a fan art section at the end, and so my end screen, I always try to feature somebody's fan art if any has come in. And so I'm tr I try to feature one per video if I can. And this series is about the only one that doesn't have it just because it's a stream, and I haven't quite figured out how to work that in because normally it's just like, uh, it's just a picture that'll add, uh oh, into the end of my videos, but this doesn't quite work that way. <laughs> So I definitely try to feature it whenever I can, and I love getting fan art. So if you guys want to draw, then by all means, send it in. I have a, a bunch of content links in the video description, and uh, you can send me fan art at pretty much any of those. And uh, assuming it's all appropriate and everything and relevant, then I will definitely feature it if I can. Some series have um, more of a, a fan art backlog than others, so for example, Cattails has a lot of fan art. <laughs> um, I have a lot of fan art, especially for Dusty's Tale. Um, and so if you draw fan art of Dusty, you may not see it show up there as quickly as you might if you submit fan art to like, okay, what would be one that I don't get fan art for much? Would probably be... I don't know, I actually get fan art for most of them, but like, okay, so I haven't seen anybody do fan art for Subnautica yet. If you submit a Subnautica fan art, it's probably gonna go up in the next episode. If you submit one for Dusty's Tale, it might be three, four, five or more episodes before it even shows up, just because I'm already going through a backlog of different things people have submitted. So I do love getting fan art though, and if you guys send something in, I will try to feature it if I can. Uh, just know that I do have a lot of fan art for some series, and it doesn't mean that I don't like to see it for those series, it just may not be featured as, as readily, uh, but fear not. I have seen, I think I've seen, well, I've, I I like looking at every fan art that I'm aware of, <laughs> um, and uh, if you guys send it to me at any of those, chances are I will see it. Um, let's see. Um, do I still play Wolf Quest? Yeah, again with Wolf Quest, they're coming out with a big update, and so I haven't played it on the channel for a while because I'm waiting for more news on that update as to more of the time frame of when we can expect it. Because if um if it's gonna be coming out in like just a few months here or whatever, then I probably will just wait. And that's a moose. That's a moose. It's a very strong moose, so we're gonna leave it alone. Um. But if it's going to be coming out, say, within, like, the next couple of months or whatever, then, okay, yeah, um, I'll probably just wait and run the next season once that is actually out. But if it's going to be coming out, say, in October or whatever, I'm not... Don't take this as a sign of when it's coming out. I don't know. <laughs> I just picked a random month late in the year. Um... But, like, if that was to be the case, then I probably would go ahead and run Season 5, and then Season 6 would be the one where we start in the next game. Um, let's see. Um... Oh my goodness. Yeah, I forget that they have- I forget they have the, the puppy bowl and the kitten bowl, um, uh, for the Super Bowl. That's pretty fun. I remember- I think I watched those a couple of years, but then we didn't get the right channels for a while. Um... So it's been a while since I've seen them, but I remember them being really, really cute. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, is it Girl Scout cookie season already? Wow. Um, <laughs> it's funny, I actually was in Girl Scouts for a little bit, but I didn't do it for very long. I was in brownies for a few years, <laughs> um, and I didn't go beyond that. 
Um, but I really like Girl Scout cookies, but the sad thing is I'm gluten-free and they haven't updated most of their recipes yet, so that always makes me a little bit sad because, seriously, if they would go gluten-free, they would get my money. <laughs> but, uh, I don't think they have- I think they might just be starting to have gluten-free options, uh, but last time I saw, they didn't have very many good gluten-free options. Um, let's see. Um... Uh, why download Wildcraft? Is that in reference to the mod? Um. All right, let's see. Um, do I like Harry Potter? I actually have uh, had very little contact with that fandom. I have not read the books. I have not seen the movie. I can't really give an opinion. <laughs> um, I'm not into that fandom really. Um. I don't know. I've never I've never seen the Puppy Bowl off of Animal Planet, and we didn't have Animal Planet for a long time, and that made me really sad because that channel was my childhood. I used to watch Animal Planet all the time, and it was amazing. Um, and we finally do get the channel again, uh, so I might have to start watching more Animal Planet. <laughs> but for a long time, it got taken off of our TV package, so rip. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, Girl Scout cookies are good, though. I did used to like them a lot before I went gluten-free. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness. Running into fences does not sound good, in-game or otherwise. Not not a good thing to... Not a good thing. <laughs> um, let's see. Aw, thank you! Um... Is, wait, are, when you talk about Wildcraft, are you referring to the, the Minecraft mod, or are you referring to something else? Because I'm not... If you're, if you're referring to the Minecraft mod, boy howdy, <laughs> do I have a story for you. Um, but it, if there's something else called Wildcraft, then I'm not familiar with it, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Uh, do I like Spongebob? I saw part of the Spongebob movie once, and it was weird. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a fandom you have to be in for- Oh, nope, 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 nope. Did it turn to follow me? I think it turned to follow me. Wow. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know if that's a fandom you have to really be, be in for a while to appreciate, but I was never in that fandom, and I still am not in that fandom. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, oh no, that's a... That's not good. Don't break your leg and rest up because that's not good. I, I hope you feel better soon. Breaking your leg does not sound fun. I've never broken a leg. Um, I fractured my tailbone like two years ago and that was absolutely miserable. <laughs> um, not a good experience. Not something I would ever want to do again. Knowing me, something pro I probably will do again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, broken bones are not nice. Um, let's see. Um, I've considered playing Stardew Valley. It's one of those things that, again, I think is a little bit of a step away from what I normally play on the channel, so I might get it at some point, but I, I don't know. I, I haven't decided yet. I might play it. Again, I have a rather long list of games that I'd like to play on here and games that people have asked me to play on here. And, um, right now, I think I have other ones I'm probably going to prioritize. Um. Yeah, I don't actually know, um. I don't actually know what you mean by Wildcraft. <laughs> um. I couldn't find anything with that name because the mod I'm developing is currently going by the name of Wildcraft. But I couldn't find anything except an old mod that I don't think ever got off the ground, so I really can't say I know what you're referring to. <laughs> um, okay, how did I break my tailbone? Oh, good heavens. Uh, that is a story. Um, 
it wasn't even dramatic. It it was just really stupid. Um, I broke the swing set in our yard. Uh, we have we have a swing set. <laughs> uh, we've had a swing set since I was little, and I mean it's it's my thinking place. I go out there when I'm gonna brainstorm or when I'm when I'm gonna think about things or if I'm writing a story, I'll go out there to plan the plot or whatever. I I, I use that swing so set a lot. I really enjoy it. Um. I didn't realize the plastic on the swing was wearing out, and it broke while I was on it, and it threw me <laughs> about about probably five, ten feet through the air. Uh, not vertically, but horizontally. It threw me several feet, um, and I landed on my tailbone, and it broke. <laughs> it well we. They couldn't see it on the x-ray, but they said in all probability it was probably a hairline fracture, and it hurt so bad that I couldn't stand up for more than 20 seconds without going pale and almost passing out. <laughs> it was... It was probably an hour before I was able to stand up, and it was about three weeks before I was able to sit down on anything without using a donut, and it still hurts when the weather changes. <laughs> So that was not not a nice experience, um, and I can't I, I can't even say it was an awesome story. It, it wasn't. I literally just broke my swing set, and that's how I broke my tailbone. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Um, do I think the plane was a fan of mine? I, I I don't know. I imagine if they watched my channel, I should hope that they wouldn't be trying to hunt wolves because that's really not something I'd advocate unless it's a very specific situation <laughs> where and I don't think as far as I know in most places especially if you think about this being the Great Plains I don't think there's an overabundance of wolves in the Great Plains and really the only time I advocate hunting is when it's needed to keep a population in control which sometimes it is but as far as I know I don't think the wolf population here in America needs to be checked right now if anything wolves were hunted too much and they need a chance to come back <laughs> um, you are limping are you going to be a snack for me you might be a snack for me um, uh, let's see um, yeah, I don't know what, what you're referring to by Wildcraft, and, uh, if you, like, I don't, I don't know, if you're referring to the mod that I'm putting up on YouTube, it's not available for download yet. <laughs> um, but I put some videos up on the, the other channel. Other than that, I really don't know what it is, because I specifically looked into it when I was going to name the mod that to make sure there was nothing named that already. <laughs> um, so, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. I can imagine DOSBox probably wouldn't work on all computers, just because not everything will all the time. Uh, but hopefully, if you, can, if you can get it working, it's a really, really cool game. Please? Ah, really? This is how I'm gonna be. How I'm I'm gonna get injured, isn't it? Can I drink from the ground? I can't. Not right now. Okay, this guy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep. Um. I'm gonna keep going this way and keep pushing him back towards the den. Um. Let's see. Uh, there's actually. I don't think you can buy wolf anymore. Um, unless you manage to get an actual boxed version. I mean, it's not available for download like most games are today. It's only available through really old CDs, and I don't know if you could actually find any of those anymore. Um, so... Right now, the way I down- I did download it off of the site, normally not something I advocate because in most cases that's illegal and really bad and you shouldn't do that. The only reason I'm doing that is because this is such an old game anyway that it was never available for download. It's no longer available for sale. The developers have completely disbanded, so there's they're not even making money off of it anymore from sales of it. Uh, there's really... There, that's the only reason that I... In this case, I've decided it's probably okay to download it. It's a very unique case, and normally I don't advocate downloading games online because generally that's a really bad thing. I, I mean, unless it's purchased from the developers, I mean. Normally I don't... I don't advocate circumventing that because normally that's a really bad thing to do and it's not nice and it takes away money from the people who made the game but in this case because of the circumstances it's a little bit different and uh, it's not quite 
the same situation. All right, let's get our thirst up and hopefully that will give us the strength to be able to come up here and take this guy out. And uh, hello, Bella, welcome to the stream. Bella is one of our other channel mods. Um, let's see, ouch, spraining your ankle on a bounce horse does not sound good. <laughs> uh, that sounds very painful and yeah, that that's not good. <laughs> um, okay. I haven't, I haven't heard of, I haven't heard of there being another mod called Wildcraft. I only found one topic for one called Wildcraft. Is it, is it called Wildcraft or is it called the Wild Animals mod? Because I know there's a Wild Animals mod, but I don't know of a current Wildcraft mod being, uh, that's actually being maintained. <laughs> um, okay, oh, is it... Is it an app version of Minecraft? Like, not actually Minecraft, but the same principle as Minecraft? Um, ooh, ouch. Uh, man, some of you guys have had some really painful, interesting injuries. Um, ooh, that is a strong bison. Oh, no! No, I didn't want you to actually attack it, I just wanted you to test its strength, and of course we're injured. Yep, of course. At least we can sleep it off, but still, I didn't want you to actually attack. I just wanted you to test its strength and see if there was a weak one. Bison are really strong. This is why they can be very dangerous. Um, oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Lay still. There we go. If you move your mouse at all, then uh, they will get up. Your wolf will get up. <laughs> um... We're discussing injuries because somebody got injured and then somebody asked me about my tailbone story when I broke my tailbone and that's how we ended up discussing injuries. <laughs> um, because then I was telling them about the time that I fractured my tailbone. Um, all right. How do you become a mod? The mods are people who I've selected from my friends and from the community who, um, who, who I, I believe are going to be, um, they're pe basically they're people who have shown themselves to be trustworthy, mature, and responsible, and uh, who I feel are going to be able to help moderate the streams and uh, keep an eye on things on the channel. So it's not like an open application process or anything. Basically, the only thing I can say about becoming a mod is basically just make sure you're being mature and responsible and not causing trouble. And if I'm looking for mods, then maybe I'll look to the community, and that's probably your best chance of becoming a mod. Um, it's just basically one of those things where I'm watching to see who's uh, uh, who's being mature and uh, who who seems like they would make a good moderator. I don't have like a set criteria or whatever. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so yeah, if it's not Minecraft then I actually have not heard of it, and I imagine it's probably- I think I know what it probably is. It's probably one of those app things. I haven't played it, uh, I might consider it, but, uh, we'll see. Um, let's see. There we go. Alright, uh, let's go eat here. Trying to- trying to move a wolf and read the chat at the same time, sorry guys. Um, Oh, okay, I might have to look at it and see. Like I said, it's not an it's not an open application. Uh, I'll select mods as I need them. It's not where anything where you have to apply. If I need a moderator, I'll go ask people. I'll go ask people I think who could be, be good mods. Um. Oh, thank you, Crystal. I do try to respond to everyone that I can. Um. Oh, and there's a cow up here too. I do try to respond to people when I can. Uh, sometimes the chat does go pretty fast, and uh, I can't always keep up with it. But I'm try I do try to respond to people when I can if they're if they're asking uh, relevant questions or um, if you guys a so there are some questions that I won't answer. If you guys ask me something super personal, I probably won't answer that here, depending on what it is. Um, but like there are some things that I, I will or won't answer and so if I don't answer your question Don't take it personally. It might just not be something that I'm comfortable sharing on YouTube or it might be something that it's Not if it's not as relevant 
to what we are discussing, then uh, I might not answer it. But don't take it personally. We ha just have a limited amount of time, and so I have to try to address questions that are going to be relative uh, or relevant, and uh, that are, are going to be um, related to the game and the channel. So let's see. Uh, how has my day been? It's been pretty good. Um, uh, so far, it has been it has been good. I'm a little tired, but uh, <laughs> hey, that's uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. See, unfortunately for me, I do my best work, like, after midnight, <laughs> and so sometimes it's, but sleep, no, I have to work, so don't follow my example with that, you guys, uh, it's really important to sleep. I'm not a good example of that. <laughs> um, if anything, I'm a negative example, because all the times I've been tired is usually uh, because I was up late working. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so, I'm tired, but it's my own doing. <laughs> I'll get over it. Um... Let's see. Um, what state do I live in? Uh, I live in California. I live in the desert part where it's really hot and really dry. And it's it's already, it's already like, it must be in the 60s or 70s here already. <laughs> uh, it's actually quite warm in my room right now. Um, so it's kind of the uncomfortably warm place. Let's see. Um, here we go. Have I played Dog Sled Saga? I have. I actually played that back when I first started the channel and had some technical problems with it. And so the series went on hold for a long time, but it may not stay that way because uh, I have been investigating the problem and trying to figure out if I can find any way to solve it. Um, let's see. Yeah, Dog Sled Saga is pretty cool. I really like it. Um, uh, what time of day is it? It is about 3.30 here. Um, I'm on Pacific time, so it's a little bit earlier than probably a lot of you guys. I do try to stream earlier than this in most cases. Unfortunately, I was a little bit late today. Normally, I try to aim for about 1, but I didn't quite uh, hit that today. So uh, it is a little bit late. Hopefully, it's not too late for you guys in the East Coast or uh, beyond if we have some people. Sometimes we have people from Europe, um, but I imagine it might be kind of late for them now. <laughs> um... So I do try to, unfortunately, that's the trouble with having a global community, is that you have people literally all around the world. So no matter what time zone I stream, or what time I stream, it's going to be nighttime for somebody. I could wake up at midnight here, and I mean, then it would be night for me, but anybody who lives out in the same time zones or surrounding time zones to me, then it would be night for them as well. So I do try to accommodate, and I feel like this time has been pretty good, but I, I do apologize if it doesn't work for you. Um, it Again, it's just one of those things where it, because it's a global community, there's always going to be someone whose time zone it is not. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Yeah, a lot of you guys, it sounds like, especially who are on right now, are from America. Um, I do see a lot of people from Britain and Europe and over there in uh, the Discord a lot of the time, but I know it's uh, gonna be later for them because they are across the ocean. <laughs> so, um, I think a lot of the people who make it to the streams here are American, probably just because of the timing. But uh, I, we have some se seen some people from Europe in these streams here too, and especially if I streamed earlier, we'd probably see more of the uh, European, um, or more of the European fans, and if I streamed later, we'd probably see more of Australia to Asian fans. Um, just depending on the timing of everything. <laughs> um, it's really cool that it's global, it just makes it difficult to coordinate stuff for this, because unfortunately, much as I would love to include everyone all the time, it's just not possible with the time zones. <laughs> um, so, maybe at some point I'd have to switch up the time I stream, but I might do different series at a different time. Uh, maybe after this, at some point, I, I would change my streaming schedule, because I do want to try and include people if I can. Um, but I also don't, like, with the same series, for especially for something like this, where it is a continuing storyline, I wouldn't necessarily want to switch it up too much, because if people who have been coming and watching this particular series, then they get all lost, and it would be kind of a mess. So, this series will probably be staying at this time, but if I ever did another live stream series, then maybe I would do that at a different time, uh, to accommodate more fans in different regions. Let's see. Um... Let's see. Um, yeah, it's 6.30 for a lot of you guys um, on the eastern side of the U.S. 
it is 3.30 for me because I'm on the western side. <laughs> um, that's a human. We're going to go the other way because we don't want to get near the humans. Most humans in this are hunters. There are occasionally just like hikers or campers, but most of the time it's going to be a hunter. It's really not worth going to investigate because most of the time it's going to be a hunter. Um, let's see. Yeah, lots of different time zones. Uh, all across the U.S. I'm seeing so far. Um, let's see. I, I don't really know where to go from here. Um, I'm kind of just, kind of just exploring around a little bit. Um, although I think we've seen most of this area already. Um, let's see. Um, but yeah, right now, it's, I think, n probably evening to night in Europe, and it's probably early morning, early, er, morning, well, by now it's maybe getting to be, um, closer to noon in, like, Australia and places, and it probably in, uh, Asia, it's even, it's earlier than that, I think. Um, time zones are tricky. <laughs> I have a hard time keeping up with them all sometimes. So, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, rest by the den here for the rest of the night, I think. Um, let's go ahead and we'll sleep and just pass the time. How old is Rumor now? Has she hit... Has she hit, um, ten months? Not yet. Um, let's see. Yeah, no, we'll just let her rest. The one bad thing about sleeping all the way through the night is that it does not give you the phase of the moon then. <laughs> it does that normally, but um, unfortunately uh, you can't see it if you're sleeping. So normally uh, when it gets to be about, once, once the moon, yeah, at this position, if you're still awake at that time and it's uh, one week, then it will, um, it'll change the phase of the moon. Uh, this operates purely off a 28, or, yeah, 28 day, or 28 month calendar, so basically new moon, half moon, or, well, this just does two crescents, so, actually, no, it would be, now I'm confused, I think it goes crescent, half, full, half. I think it just goes back to crescent just once. So I think it's a 28 day month. And so you can see it can take quite a long time to get through it. But it, um, it, uh, so whenever that passes and whenever it changes, it will update it. And so this probably wasn't the change in month. Nope. Um, but whenever it gets to, I think, well, it depends on the season actually. Or it depends, or the region. Um, it will, it'll change the, uh, the season and the month. But, um, it has 28 days per cycle, basically. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, I don't know how USA got to be known mostly as America, <laughs> but there's a lot more to the Americas than just the US. I guess it's probably because United States of America is really long, whereas Canada or Mexico or a lot of the countries in uh, in South America are all really short, but for us it's the United States of America and it's really long, so it kind of just gets shortened to America, uh, which inconveniently is the name of the continent, and so yeah, that doesn't quite work out so well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, America can refer to any of the countries here and sometimes it does get used to refer specifically to the United States. I'm gonna leave that human alone and uh, not wander around down there. Um, let's see. Um, is Abzu on your list of games to play? I've had a few people tell me about that, and it seems like an interesting game, but I haven't really investigated it that much. Um, I have played Animal Jam before, but it doesn't like this computer. And it, with my setup, it would be really difficult to record, so I probably won't be playing Animal Jam. Um, let's see. Aw, oh, man, the flu is no fun. I was sick last week, that's why I didn't end up streaming. Uh, but I don't think it was the flu, or if it was, it was very mild. So ho hopefully, uh, hopefully anybody who's sick and watching this, or any of these families sick, hopefully everybody feels better. <laughs> it is going around. It, it's not, not nice. Uh, not, not a good illness. Not a fun one to have. Well, is any illness fun to have? Probably not. <laughs> uh, but the flu is one of the nastier ones. Um, 
I'm hoping that I have now caught whatever was out there and won't be uh, won't be susceptible to it again. But it's possible that I would. Uh, but for now, I think I'm all right. Um, oh man, if you get snow, that's pretty cool. That's actually one thing that I've always wished that we would have more of is snow. Like I said, I live in the desert, and so we don't get a lot of that. And um, it's always really cool when it does happen, but it's really rare that it actually happens. <laughs> So, uh, unfortunately, I haven't seen snow that much out here, but then again, some places get a lot of snow and then it can be really annoying because there's too much, so it kind of, kind of a double-edged sword in many ways. Um, let's see. Uh, please do not, uh, please do not advertise in the chat that is against the rules. You can actually find the stream rules in the video description, so please make sure to follow them. Um, can I play Meadow on a live stream? Um, I've thought about that. That might actually make a nice low-key, uh, live stream for some time. Uh, I may do it at some point. I just haven't done it yet. And, uh, it's been a little while since, um, since I've played Meadow on the channel aside from, um, uh, aside from, uh, doing my announcements in Meadow. Let's see. Um... Hmm. Um. Alright. This rabbit is continuing to move. I guess it's probably better just to head back. I kind of wanted to avoid the den area because that human went there, but I think at night they move off again. Um. Ooh. Driving in snow does not sound fun. I am learning to drive, and uh, I have enough problems driving just in normal conditions, <laughs> very dry and not even wet and slippery, uh, but let alone snow. Um, let's see. It is a little bit laggy, I don't really know why it's doing that, but hopefully it's still okay. It's a pixel game, so it's probably not gonna be the smoothest anyway. I keep accidentally barking because I go to hit nose and I hit- so the, the end button is for nose or smelling, the B button is to bark. And I keep mixing them up because I get my finger in the wrong spot on the keyboard. Um, let's see. All right. Hmm. Where is this? Okay. Um, where is the den? The den's back here. Um,. Ooh, yeah, like snow can kind of mess with your brakes, too, as far as, uh, like, with uh, school brakes, I mean. Uh, it can kind of mess up your brake schedule. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, am I gonna play... Or, okay, for, well, let me... Okay, am I gonna play the aisle again? I would like to. I'm kind of just feeling that out, depending on how much people want to see it. Um, again, it's been one of those things where not a huge amount of people have been interested, so I've been kind of prioritizing other series. And then, um, let's see... Uh, what car have I got? I don't have- well, I don't technically have my own car yet. If I end up getting my own car, it will probably be kind of a hand-me-down, almost broken one. Uh, that's not quite, uh, not quite dead enough to just get scrapped, but not quite alive enough to be trustworthy for long distances. That will probably end up being my car if I- if I get an actual car in the near future. Uh, but for now, I've just been using the family cars. Um... Let's see. Can I can I do a meet and greet in US? Um, at this point, I really I don't think I'm a big enough YouTuber for that to be a possibility. If the channel continues to grow, who knows? But I don't think there's not that many of us on the channel right now, and I don't I think it would be hard to get enough people concentrated in one place to actually have that work. <laughs> um, let's see. And aw, oh, thank you, Rose. Uh, I. I don't know, I just, when I come to YouTube, I actually often wonder what it is about my videos that people like so much, because I never expected this much of an audience when I first started doing YouTube, but really, I mean, I guess the biggest thing I do when I make my videos is I just be myself for them, um, and I just am putting out my personality and, and who I am in these videos, and just sticking with it. Uh, that was one of the biggest things that I had to do, especially in the beginning, was to stick with it, even when not a lot of people were watching. Um, so, I mean, I guess 
I hope I hope that shows through. I I hope people people get to see my personality and that I enjoy this. And uh, I don't know. Um, I just stuck with it, and I'm glad you guys you guys like my videos so much. But I really don't know what to tell you guys. I did because I don't really know what I did. I I, I can't narrow down the fact that I have this big of an audience to one specific thing. I don't know why. Uh, why the videos that I've made that have become more popular have been popular or why uh, why people are here on the channel. Uh, but really, I think the biggest thing is to just stick with it because it's really hard when you're first starting out and you only have maybe a few hundred or less subscribers and you get a couple views on your videos, maybe a hundred if you're lucky in some cases. Uh, that can get really discouraging and really depressing, but you really have to just stick with it because uh, I believe hard, with hard work and dedication, if you stay with it long enough, uh, your channel will grow. Um, let's see. Uh, here we go. Where's our water? Our, our water is over here. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and get a, um, get a drink there. Um, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> I think a lot of the time the first car ends up being kind of a either well because I mean when at the first the age when you're first getting a car, it's probably the minority of people who are actually able to go out and get a new car for themselves or have their parents get them a new car right when they're first starting to drive. A lot of the time you get the hand me down or the repaired one, and that's kind of just normal. It's I mean it's a good start, and then when you do get a, a newer car then it's, it'll be really nice and you'll hopefully have a really good idea how to take care of it uh, and hopefully it, you'll, it'll be a nice breath of fresh air uh, to have something that's not constantly going wrong. Um, let's see. Um, do I enjoy skiing or sledding? I've never been skiing, but I uh, do like sledding when we actually have the ability to go sledding when the rare, rare time when there is snow. Uh, what type of car do I want? I don't, honestly. I'm not that big into it. I just want something that's comfortable. I probably, I tend to gravitate, I think, towards larger cars because my family has a van. Um, and I just have, that's what I've been learning in, and so I feel more comfortable in stuff like that. So, I want something that's not super cramped and that works well. And if I get to pick a color, it'll probably be blue. <laughs> um, but other than that, I can't say I like a certain make or model or anything. I mean, preferably it, it looks okay too, but I've always been function over fashion. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, here we go. Um, let's see. Alright, let's see here. Um, ah, welcome, Rose! Uh, and thank you, Dragon! Uh, yeah, I, um, our series with Oberon is, um, I don't know if it's one of the more popular ones, but it's been one of my favorites because it's had such a deep, heartfelt story to it, and I've really enjoyed that. Um, let's see. When is the next Shelter 2 video gonna come out? Shelter 2 videos come out on, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, and we'll be having, I think we have about two more weeks of this season uh, we have one last litter, and then we'll actually be wrapping up for the time being, and we'll have another season, um, that will be, or another, another series will be coming into that time slot for now, but we'll see what it ends up being, and we'll see, uh, when that happens, or we'll see, because I think we, we have a little bit left of this season, so, uh, but we do have three seasons of Shelter 2, so if you have not caught up on the, uh, the past two, you are definitely welcome to go check those out while you are waiting. Um, let's see. Um, if I ever make my own emoji, make a digital hug one. Oh, that's a really cute idea. Uh, we might, I think, I think one of the perks of getting sponsors is to be able to create custom emojis. And, uh, so maybe that'll be something that'll happen if we continue to get more sponsors on the channel here. Um, let's see. Oh gosh, there, yeah, there are, there are, um, there are a couple roses on here. Um, and they're both rose petal, too. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's going to make it difficult. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's a good idea to make sure you don't get so into your work that you miss meals. Uh, it's important to be making sure that you get all your meals in if you can. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I can't say I'm the greatest with that either. I get too focused on my work. Uh, but it's not good for you, so... 
Oh. Ah, we have snow. <laughs> Sorry about that. I noticed snow as I was drinking from my water bottle. And, um, I, yeah, wow. <laughs> I'm not used to it even in the game. It always surprises me, but it is drawing near to winter. Um, I don't think... I keep checking to see if we're at uh, 10 months yet, but I don't think we're quite there. Um, because we only just hit nine months in the last episode. So I don't think we're quite there yet. Um, but let's see. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness, yeah, if you guys put the same profile picture, that would be absolutely chaotic, and I would have a very hard time trying to tell you two apart. Um, let's see. Um, oh, I'm making emoji with acorn and amber. That would be so cool. If you got, if we get to the point of adding custom emojis, I will probably leave it up to a vote in all honesty and find out what you guys want to see because, uh, I don't know. I don't have a specific custom emoji in mind. It'll really just depend. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and get a drink here. Uh, here we go. Uh, it's okay. Hey, I honestly, I know a lot of you guys are still kids, and so I do have the sponsorship option. I do have a Patreon. I do have Super Chat. I have a bunch of different uh, monetization options, uh, but I do recognize a lot of you guys are not going to be able to do that because, you know, okay, when I was your age, I did not have a lot of my own money either, and that's all right. I just put those out there because if anyone is able to and wants to, that does help. Um, but honestly, even if you're not able to support me financially, whether that's because you're too young or even if you just don't want to, the best thing you can do to support the channel is to just spread the word. Hello, is this silence? This is Muzzlad. Okay, this is our mate. Um, but yeah, honestly, the best thing you can do to support the channel in any case is just to spread the word. If you like my videos, tell other people about them and uh, uh, let people know that I'm out here because that's the one thing that we really don't have a lot of right now is we are growing in reach. There are a lot of people who are starting to find the channel. I've actually seen a really, really... Uh, I I've seen a huge spike in new subscribers lately. There have been quite a few and we did just hit 8,000, um, but that's still relatively low in terms of... Uh, in terms of YouTube and uh, what you need to be able uh, to to support yourself off of YouTube, that is still relatively low. <laughs> so uh, honestly, the best thing you can do is to continue to spread the word and tell people about the channel and be like, hey, there's this cool YouTuber that I like. And uh, that's one of the best things you could do because then whether or not you are directly giving me money, you're ensuring that more people will be coming to watch my videos. And basically the way YouTube money or YouTube payment works and the way the way I earn money through YouTube is because of advertisements. And so if more people come, then that means more people are watching those advertisements and that means that I will be earning more money from them. And so even if you're not able to directly support me financially, by spreading the word, that does help me uh, be more able to, to earn a, a living off of this or if not a living, to at least be a getting something from it. <laughs> So really, it's, it's okay. I totally understand that most of you guys are young and I know a lot of people your age uh, can't uh, support me financially. And I honestly respect even if people don't want to because that's a lot to ask of anybody. Um, and I don't like asking for money, uh, but it's really just one of those things where I, I totally understand that and respect that. And uh, even if you guys are not just spreading the word about the channel, or even if you guys are just here and just supporting me, the fact that you guys are here, I appreciate that so much. And it means so much to me to just have you guys here because I've said this time and time again, and I will continue to say it. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. I'm here because of you. So uh, for whatever happens to the channel, whether it grows, whether it stays this small, I'll be here for hopefully a long time. As long as I can keep doing this, I will keep doing this. <laughs> um, and I just hope my life won't lead me away from it. Uh, but I would love to stay right here and keep making these videos because it's honestly been such an amazing experience and you guys have been such a wonderful community and it means a lot for, uh, for me to be able to, to, it means a lot to have your support and to just to look and to see, I mean, like, there's 21 people here right now. That's beyond what I ever thought would happen when I first started this channel. I expected maybe, maybe to be at 500 subscribers by this point, 
and that there's so many of you who are, are consistently coming back and tuning in and watching my videos and coming here for the live streams, that just absolutely blows me away. It's uh, very mind-blowing and very, very humbling too. <laughs> so let me see. Um, I have gotten a little bit behind on chat, so give me a moment to catch up. Um, what is my favorite animal? I really am partial to canines. I like wolves a lot. I have a very special, uh, special place in my heart for them because Wolf Quest was probably the first, um, it was probably the first online, um, it's probably the first online, or not, not necessarily online, but it, that and Zoo Tycoon were the, the, um, were probably the biggest games I got into when I was little. They, I had the biggest obsession with them, and so the fact that I played so much Wolf Quest has really, uh, really influenced my love of wolves, but I've also always loved canines, and I love animals in general. <laughs> so it's really hard to pick a favorite, but I definitely am drawn to canines. Um, and yes, that is a super chat. Thank you, Song. So basically what a super chat is, is um, it's where uh, you pay a certain amount of money and then that will pin the chat and highlight it like you can see there. And um, it's uh, basically what that is, is then I get the revenue from that. And uh, so it's another way of supporting creators. And uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing. So thank you, Song. Um, but that, that is one, one of the things I have that enabled, just in case anybody does want to get their comment pinned. And when it comes time to name pups in this, and as we get closer to Rumor actually having her pups, uh, that, and then through my sponsors and my patrons, will be the only ones I'm accepting names from, because uh, otherwise it's going to get too chaotic. I would love to accept names from everybody, but... Um, we used to do that with the old Wolf Quest videos back when I had less than uh, less than a thousand subscribers, and I would get literally over a hundred names, sometimes multiple hundreds probably, and it just took me ages to get through. It would take me like half an hour to do names alone, <laughs> and so with a channel with a channel about the size it's at, it is going to be totally unmanageable. So while I don't like to restrict it, I think I'm going to have to. So if you do use Super Chat, or you are a patron, or you are a sponsor then you will be able to submit names for, as we get closer to the time, that rumor will have her pups. Um, oh, okay, you, did you get one of, the, one of the channel shirts? That's awesome. That's honestly really, really awesome. I've seen a few people have gotten the, the shirts, and uh, that honestly uh, ama it amazes me too. I didn't expect people would actually be that interested in them, but they really have been. And uh, so the shirts are another way that uh, you can support the channel if you do if you do get a shirt. I do get some of the revenue from that. And of course, then that's advertisement too. If you're wearing it, people could go, oh, who's Jay Plays? And um, so that's another way of getting my name out there too. But uh, that's really awesome. Uh, and if you guys have bought the shirt uh, or have told other people, then thank you guys, seriously. <laughs> um, I do hope someday I'll be able to make this my actual job in that what I consider a job is something I can make a live, living off of. I hope it can be a full-time thing where I could just do YouTube and have that be the entirety of my, um, or I'd like to be able to support myself completely off of it. I'm not at that point yet, uh, but who knows what the future may hold. And if the channel continues to grow like this, then I bet we will get there someday. Um, let's see. Um... Let me see. How do you send in fan art? So I have a lot of contact links in the video description, and uh, you can use any of those to send in fan art. I do check all of them pretty regularly. I try to check my email every few days at least, but sometimes it does go for a little bit. So don't worry. I do check my email even if I don't get back to you right away. I will. I will. Uh, I, I do see your art, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I think. What are we gonna do here? We're still at nine months. I think I keep now. I keep. I keep checking it because I feel like we should be aging up again soon, but I'm not quite sure when, and that's gonna bother me. Okay, let's see. Um, all right. No, it's okay. Seriously, you guys. I know a lot of you guys are still young, and uh, I, I know a lot, especially for young people, then a lot of you guys aren't really. I, I don't honestly. If whether you donate or not, you guys are still amazing, uh, and I know a lot of young people can't. I even can't, and I'm not, I'm at the point where most people would, I'm at the point where I'm considering an adult, and there are people out there like me who are completely off on their own now. I'm not just yet. <laughs> uh, but I still can't donate to a lot of people because it's, money is not, 
when you're young and just starting out and as, as your kid or as your young adult, which is the primary age on this channel, I know that, believe me, <laughs> and I'm not going to fault you if you can't donate. Um, it's just there in case anybody can and wants to because a little extra income never hurts. But again, the greatest thing you can do really is to just spread the word and to just be here supporting me. That's really more than I would ever have asked for. That's more than I ever expected just starting this out. To see this many people who are watching and enjoying um, is really amazing. I don't like talking about money because I don't want to be sitting here like, so you guys donate, but <laughs> it is a topic that comes up from time to time. And I don't I want to make sure nobody feels pressure to donate, but at the same time, if you are able to and uh, you want to, then I greatly appreciate that too. I really appreciate any sort of support you guys are able to give. Um, let's see. Uh, the shirt should actually, you should actually be able to see a link to the Tee Public store in the video description. Uh, I produce these shirts through Tee Public. I actually did a video because I got a copy of my own shirt. I did a video on that recently, and uh, the link should be here, I believe, too. I believe I added it to the video description for this as well, if you do want to check out the Tee Public store. Um, aw, that's an amazing song! Aw, thank you! Um, honestly, digital media does have a huge influence. So Song was talking about how she did a uh, presentation on digital media and how it has an influence, and uh, that, uh, that she used me as an example, and aw, that's honestly so cool! <laughs> um, so thank you, Song. Um, let's see. Ah, Flaffy, hello! Um, okay, have I ever had a boy or girlfriend? Uh, not really. <laughs> not really, no. I've had a couple crushes from time to time, but I haven't had anyone official yet, and I don't at the time. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. I'm just not at a point in my time where I think I'm ready for that. I'm- my- my philosophy on that is that, uh, if you're not ready to be married, you shouldn't be dating. I, see, I'm the sort of person who would date with intent to marry. I know not everybody d takes it that way, but that's how I take it. And I don't personally feel I'm ready for all that yet. <laughs> um, I'm still, I still ver feel very young and inexperienced, and I don't think I'm quite ready to be married. So it, it may be a while before you guys would hear about any any big news in that respect. <laughs> uh, but who knows? I mean, if the channel's still around in ten years, who knows where I might be. Let's see. Um, let's see. Am I going to play Ark again? Um, Ark is another one of those series where there was less interest for, and if people are interested in it, then I would love to play it again. I think Ark is an amazing game. I really like playing it. Uh, but for right now, I haven't been playing it on the uh, channel because not a lot of people have been interested. And again, it's just one of those things where I feel my energy is better spent elsewhere. It's one of those things where for every decision I make on the channel, I have to think of a resource. So it's... I'm trying to think of a good example. <laughs> um, a, a good relevant example because... Um, it basically, it's a resource. So I have only so many hours in the day. And once I spend all those hours then that's it. I I have to, and I mean, I can, right away, I can say I need probably at least six minimum, if not eight to ten hours to sleep, so that's a lot of time gone. Um, I need enough time to work my animation. I have to be, I have a certain, I have to eat, I have to take care of myself. If I have to go places, that cuts into my time. Basically, I have to think of time as a resource and it is limited. And so if I'm going to make videos and I have, say, a three hour time slot for making videos, if we give an hour for each video, then I'm going to do the, want, want to do the videos that have the most, that most, the most people want to see. So unfortunately, the, the ARC fan base here on the channel is a little bit smaller and not as many people are as interested in that as they are in other games like Shelter 2 or whatever. And so if it's a choice between Ark or Shelter 2, well, because more people want to watch Shelter 2, then I'm probably going to go with Shelter 2. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I actually, I've been looking into playing Never Alone, but I haven't gotten it set up yet. I was actually, I still would like to play it with Song at some point, but we've been having issues getting that to work because uh, it's a little bit more complicated. Unfortunately, the game doesn't naturally support long distance multiplayer just yet. Uh, but Song and I have been wanting to play that game for a while now, and so if we get the chance, I think, what is that? Is that, please tell me that's a caribou. That's a caribou. It looked like, it looked like the a hunter, a hunter with the pants just for a moment, and that scared me a little bit. <laughs> um, um, but it's a caribou, so we're all right. Oh, it's an injured caribou at that. Let's go ahead and get a drink, and then we'll go ahead and hunt this guy. 
Um, but yeah, so I know Song and I have been wanting to potentially play that game for a while now, but unfortunately, uh, it's not that simple. <laughs> um, and we've had some, some technical things we've had to work out before it'd be possible. So hopefully that will be a possibility at some point. I would love to do that game and especially to play it with, uh, with Song, but, uh, we'll see. It depends on if those technical problems can be resolved or not. Um, Let's see. Yeah, that's another thing. So Flaffy says, Ark has to be played a certain way for it to be entertaining on YouTube. There are definitely some boring parts. So, I don't know if any of you guys have known this, but for- if any of you guys have seen my Ark series, you know I have, like, a certain amount of, um, like, I, I had- I think I got to eight, like, 16 episodes with the original and, like, five with Aberration. So, I know in my last episode of Aberration, I had a bunch of clips, and for a 20 to 30 minute episode, I had about two to three hours of gameplay. So, Ark is also a little bit special in that not only is it, um, is it uh, not quite as popular, but it also has a much larger time investment because you guys don't want to watch two hours of me mining rocks. <laughs> um, and that's the reason why series, that's one of the reasons why a series like Ark or even like Minecraft, I haven't done as much with them because they take so much more time commitment. And again, like I've said, I have limited hours in the day. So, Ark was a little bit different because I already had been spending quite a bit of time playing it, and especially with Aberration just coming out, I wanted to spend some time playing Aberration. And unfortunately, when I wasn't getting a good return on my investment, there were just better ways I could spend my time. <laughs> and so if a lot of people decided to become interested in Ark, and a lot of people were like, oh, this is a really cool series, I want to see this again, then yeah, I would definitely consider it and possibly go back to it. So... Uh, but for now, it's just one of those things where it's not a good investment on my part. It's not a good use of my time compared to other things that I could be doing. Um, let's see. Um, Ark is a game about survival and a game about... There's a lot of dinosaurs in the main version. There's, like, mutant creatures in Aberration, uh, fantasy creatures in Scorched Earth. Um, basically, it's a game about surviving on a harsh and hostile world, starting from nothing and growing to basically overcome the odds and uh, kind of tame the environment. You tame a lot of creatures, and uh, you can basically kind of... You, you go from having nothing to, uh, to building your world. You end up uh, getting out... Uh, you tame allies, you tame pets... Uh, you work with the ecosystem and sometimes against it. It's a really cool game. I like it a lot. It's a little bit violent if you are looking into playing it. I do try to filter out if there's anything that's really uh, particularly scary in it, but it can be a little bit violent. It can be a little bit scary, so I don't necessarily recommend it um, for everyone, but I do I do try to keep it uh, fairly uh, fairly tame for what, uh, what goes on the channel. Um, let's see... Um, let me see. Are we gonna do Don't Starve Together again? Oh, 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 my goodness, oh my goodness. No, 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 oh, it turned. Oh, no, it's coming back. It's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. No, no, we're not doing this now. We're not doing this now. So you can see how hard it is just to see the plane, and there's supposed to be a warning sound, but because the sounds don't work properly in this, there's no warning, and so the planes are really open. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, but are we gonna do Don't Starve Together again? I think we'd like to. We had a lot of fun with that series, um, but unfortunately it was again one of those things where there wasn't as much interest and so we kind of stopped playing it for the time being because again, it was an investment of time on all of our parts and we weren't seeing as much return on that investment as we were for other things and so it wasn't quite as worth it for us to continue with that. So again, if it picked up in popularity, then yeah, I could see us going back to it. I think we would all enjoy that. But um, if, it, it, uh, if there's not as much interest, then I don't think we're going to go back to it. Um... Let's see. Uh, yeah, reminder to follow the rules. You can find the rules for the stream in the video description. And if you don't follow the rules, action will be taken by the moderators. Um, let's see. No, I would, I would love to play Don't Starve Together again. I had a great time. Um, and that's not to say that we wouldn't do it again at, at ever any end point. But um, for right now, unfortunately... 
we were putting so much time and effort into it and so much work into it and just not it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't quite paying off as much as we were hoping so let's see oh yeah we should save the game thank you maya thank you maya <laughs> uh we will save the game so let's go ahead and save um so our rule in this is that if we die we can respawn we can reload a save but we need to remember to save um and um so i always forget to do that because i normally save at the end of the episode i don't save during and so for me to save during a stream is a little bit different um let's see yeah, I, I think I'm slowly I'm slowly getting the hang of Don't Starve. <laughs> I was slowly learning to get better at it. Um, there's just all sorts of random disasters that come out of nowhere. And uh, random things that you wouldn't expect. And a lot of what the heck is this moments. Uh, hello, Silence. So you can see, too, let's pause for a moment to look at the stats. So you can see Silence has hunted 15 rabbits, 1 bison, 6 beaver, 2 moose, 4 caribou, and 5 deer. And that will also determine her strength, basically. So she's not going to be all that strong. And we can see with Rumor, she's hunted 16 rabbits, 3 bison, 23 beaver, 6 moose, 14 caribou, and 6 deer. And so that's why I'm not really worried about Silence attacking us, because she's not comparably strong to us. She's definitely a lot weaker than Rumor is, and so I'm not really worried about her... Um, I'm not really worried about her trying to challenge us because I don't think she's strong enough and I'm pretty sure she knows that. Um, do I speak a different language? If so, which language? If not, do I plan to? I took Spanish in school, didn't get very good at it. Um, I know a marginal amount of French and a tiny bit of Japanese. I did speak, what I did speak was I learned to speak some, uh, I guess I would probably call it Russo-Ukrainian because it was a weird blend of Russian and Ukrainian. Uh, I went to Ukraine several several years back, and uh, so I learned to speak some Russian and Ukrainian there from that experience. So that's probably the language I speak the most of, just because, you know, you learn by immersion. <laughs> um, but uh, I haven't had to use that for a while, so that's probably the second language I speak the most of. Don't speak any second language fluently, though, except maybe pantomime. <laughs> Um, let's see. Um, yes, for where I live, Spanish is probably the most practical one because I live fairly near Mexico, like, uh, I, like, basically anywhere in the south of the United States is decently near to Mexico, and so you're gonna have a lot of people who might be native Spanish speakers who could have come up from there, uh, or who could... They, Originally, the language spoken down there uh, is a lot of Spanish, and so anybody who's descended from that will probably speak a lot of Spanish or may have family members that speak Spanish. Not everyone. But because of that, we have a lot of um, Spanish-speaking people in this region and generally just in the south of the United States. <laughs> and because of that, uh, for where I live, Spanish is probably the most practical language, um, but not the one I know the most of. Let's see. Uh, how long was I in Ukraine? I was there for three months, and it was the dead of winter, and for someone who's used to California winter, which is maybe getting below freezing on some nights, it was a, a huge change. We definitely had sub-zero temperatures while we were there. And I think we- I think so. I'm pretty sure. Everything was in Celsius, so now I can't- I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure we did have some that got down really, really cold. I think we may have gone below zero a few times and it was freezing compared to what I'm used to. <laughs> Normally I like the cold. That was a little bit more than I was ever used to. And it's actually raining. I didn't even realize it was raining because it blends in with the plains so much there. French is not my first language. I watched... I, I, got, I got into a French TV show and uh, started picking up some French from that. <laughs> That's the reason I know a marginal amount of French. Um... Let's see. How long do we have left on the stream? Probably a little bit more. I, I usually stream for about two hours, and I probably will do that here. My voice is giving out a little bit, though, so it may not be that much longer. So if you do have any more questions, now is a good time to ask them. Um, let's see. Yep, Song is from Texas. I am uh, from California, so we're both down in, uh, down in, in the 
generally somewhat more Spanish-speaking part of the U.S. If, if, it, if there's going to be a place that speaks Spanish, it's probably going to be down here. Um, so Spanish is generally what's taught in schools. It's a very practical language. Um, like, most store clerks down here speak both. Um, most of them that I've seen have been capable of speaking both languages. Just because you do tend to have a lot of Spanish speakers and some who are only Spanish speakers. Um, but that's just this area of the U.S. I don't actually know uh, in the in the upper parts if it if that's quite the same or not. <laughs> um, I don't really know. Let's see. Uh, do I have a dog? Yes, I have a dog and two cats. Uh, I think I've introduced Sierra in some of my videos. Um, she wasn't in, or I introduced her in one of the um, in one of the Robin vlogs from last spring. And, um, since then, wow, there's literally deer right here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I introduced her in one of the Robin vlogs, and, uh, she occasionally will bark in my videos. So, <laughs> I do have a dog. Um, let's see. Um, how many months to go for pups? Let's check. I think we're still at nine months right here, which means we have three to go. Yep, three years and nine months, so we're almost into our tenth month, so we have about two and a quarter, if I had to guess, months to go. Why are there so many places that looks like they could either be food or traps? Um, I should play Dog Sled Saga again. That's something I did at one point and then had technical difficulties, but I've definitely been looking into those. Uh, Beanie is doing a lot better, so if you guys have been on the channel, or if you were on the channel back in December... Uh, my cat Beanie actually, um, had- so Beanie- Beanie is, a uh, Beanie has some chronic problems. He has chronic illnesses, and they do flare up from time to time, and he had a really bad flare up and had to, uh, go to the- the vet- uh, the emergency vet, basically. Um, and we were pretty scared. Uh, it wasn't quite as scary as the last time we- the first time it ever happened, and the, the only other time it's happened other than this, we were really scared we were gonna lose him because it was very severe and it was the first time it happened so we didn't know what was happening. This time we had an idea of what was happening because we determined it was gonna be something that was gonna be chronic and that could flare up again and we kind of recognized the symptoms and so it was a lot better this time than last time but it was still pretty scary. Um, but he's doing a lot better. Uh, again, it's still one of those things where it is chronic, so there's always the possibility of it flaring up. But uh, he hasn't had a flare-up since, and he's been doing a lot better. He's very happy. Um, <laughs> I had a video shortly after that. Um, he didn't want to share his chair. He took, or it wasn't even his chair. I was sitting there. I got up for two seconds to eat, and he took my chair. And so we had a, a little bit of a funny video of him being grumpy and not wanting to move. <laughs> Um, but he is doing so much better, and uh, he's he's been fine as of late, um, not showing signs of another flare-up. Uh, so it's one of those things where, unfortunately, it is just always going to be a possibility. But um, so far, he seems to be doing very well, and if we have another, if he has another flare-up, we'll handle it as it happens. Uh, for now, he's living a very good life. So let's see. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I have two cats. So Beanie is one of my cats, and then the other one is Shadow. Um, <laughs> if you guys are in the Discord, you'll have heard about Shadow. Shadow is something else. She is a complete and total drama queen, and, uh, she is also- so Beanie is- Beanie is more my mom's cat, and Shadow is more my cat. Not- that's kind of just because of how- how they gra- who they gravitated to. Uh, Shadow bonded very strongly with me when I uh, when we were both little because uh, she was a very shy kitten and I was a very determined eight year old. <laughs> and uh, basically, I turned out to be the right thing to do, uh, but I I probably I don't recommend doing this unless you're a little bit more versed in it. Um, and I probably should have done some things differently when I was young had I known. Basically, I just would I would catch her and carry her to my room. And just keep her there until she calms down. And that actually is a very valid, um, that, it, that is, if you're going to acclimatize an animal to something they're afraid of, you do have to just keep them there until they calm down. But again, that's one, not something you generally want to do unless you're experienced with that. I did it by accident. <laughs> uh, but she went from being very shy to now she loves me. And she loves my mom, too. Um, but... She decided the other night that she was going to come and cry outside my bedroom door because she she likes my room. <laughs> she 
She just hasn't been allowed in here just to wander in for years because uh, I have allergies and so the cats are supposed to stay out of my bedroom because otherwise I can get all stuffed up and that's just not fun. Uh, but I let her in the other night supervised and ever since then she has been very determined to come back. And so at three in the morning she decided it was important to come and protest because she wasn't allowed in my room and I wasn't out there giving her love. <laughs> so she didn't want to go to bed. I told her she needed to, she wouldn't. Uh, so I brought her to this little cat stand hammocky thing that we have because she likes to sleep in it. And I put her in that and I told her to go to bed. And instead of being a normal cat and laying down like a normal cat, she decided to violently throw herself down because she is a drama queen. Um, she intended to land in the hammock, but she didn't. She basically just flung herself out of the hammock <laughs> and went crashing to the ground and landed in the water dish at three in the morning and immediately pandemonium broke loose. She bolted, the dog started barking. I'm sitting there literally crying with laughter because it was hilarious and I'm sorry, I felt bad for her, but she was being a drama queen. She had it coming. <laughs> um, so yeah, shadow something else. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that, that, is, that is my cat, um, that, my other cat. So let's see. Um, okay, there's quite a few Spanish speakers in the northern states too, but probably nowhere close to the amount that there is in California, Texas, and other southern states, pretty much, because we are so close to the border, uh, it's probably a lot of the people who do come up from Mexico, uh, probably do just kind of settle down here. Um, let me see. Yep, Shadow, Shadow's special. <laughs> we love her, but she's also, she's something else. She's a very, for, for being as shy as she is around people, she's also ridiculously determined. Like, she is the sort of cat you will not see if you come over to my house. She will be under the bed the entire time. She does not like strangers. But at the same time, she's very, very determined. She will bite my dog if Sierra, my German Shepherd mix, 50 pounds, gets too close to her. Shadow will fight her. <laughs> the dog, 50 pound dog, 10 pound cat, dog is terrified of this cat. Um, she is something else, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we love her. She can be a jerk, but we love her. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, does the wrench symbol mean moderator? Yes, it does. Um, snow is more air than water. I did not actually know that. I mean, I guess it would kind of make sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, un unfortunately, um, yeah, cats can be drama queens. Beanie, Beanie's less of a drama queen as he is demanding. <laughs> I guess for him it would be a drama king. Shadow's a drama queen. Beanie's just really demanding. Um, and yeah, <laughs> so so there's something else. But uh, we love him. It's funny. And then Sierra is just um. She's most of the time she's pretty smart, uh, but she can also be stubborn and sometimes she's she's smart, but she doesn't have cause and effect thinking like people do. <laughs> and she tries to fight the neighbors' Akitas, which is just honey, don't. <laughs> um, so we're trying to get her to be nice to them, but she does. She tries to pick a fight with them, and I'm pretty sure both of them at least outweigh her, if not by double. And I'm just like, honey, please don't. So there's there's a fence. They can't actually reach each other, but... Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, all my pets are kind of special in their own ways. <laughs> but we love them. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, Beanie has actually... Beanie has gotten pretty chunky as of late. He used to be really, really skinny, and I don't know what exactly it is, but uh, as of late... For whatever reason, he's... Oh, oh, bad things are happening. Bad things are happening. Bad, 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 bad. Um, I don't know if you guys could see, but up there, there's a plane. And so I want to get out of here. I don't know what direction it's going. Okay, I think it must have gone... Okay, it's behind us now. Oh, no, 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 it's not. 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 Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please don't do this to me. 
Please don't do this to me. It slows down quite a lot when the planes fly by. I don't really know why that is. Um, but oh gosh, that's not good. Um, uh, but yeah, for some reason Beanie has- well, Beanie- okay. Not quite just some reason. He will try and eat his sister's food constantly. He'll steal Shadow's food if given the chance, and it's not very good for him. He's not allowed to do that anymore. Um, but yeah. He, he has special dietary needs, so he's not supposed to eat her food, but he will if he gets the chance. He'll eat anything. He will eat the dog's food if he gets the chance. <laughs> um, he will lick the dishes. He will jump on the counter and lick the dirty dishes. So Beanie will eat anything. Um, but yeah, let's see. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, I've also looked into Ori in the Blind Forest. It looks like a really cool game. I was considering getting it when it was on sale, but I didn't, so I might wait for another Steam sale. But I've heard that it's really, really good, and so I might, uh, might have to look into getting it at some point. Um, let's see. I'm probably gonna wrap up pretty soon here, because, uh, yeah, my voice is starting to die. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, but yeah, my voice is slowly dying, and uh, it's been about two hours, so I think we're probably going to wrap up pretty soon here. So if you guys have any last questions, now would be the time to ask them. Otherwise, hopefully we'll be back here next week. Uh, assuming I'm not sick or nothing comes up, uh, I would like to, uh, to do this again next time, but uh, we shall have to see. So, uh, let's see. Um... Do I like Warrior Cats? I read the first book and then started high school right after I finished it, so I never had time to read the rest. Uh, but the first book was pretty good. Um, oh my goodness. Don't, don't give song ideas of what games to get me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, yeah. Yep, uh, don't give her ideas. <laughs> uh, believe me, she acts on them. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, am I excited for Wolf Quest 3? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I am very excited. I can't wait. Um, I, I, I definitely can't wait. Uh, hopefully, because um, I am a Wolf Quest beta tester, I'm hoping that at some point I will be able to share potential footage of it. So I was allowed to do that with the Moose update. I was allowed to share some, uh, some blooper clips. <laughs> and I'm hoping I'll get the chance to do that as well after because... Sometimes, uh, depending on the situation, I'm allowed to do that, but don't get your hopes up for stuff beforehand because anything that's allowed to be shared is by permission of the devs only. So please don't ask me for spoilers about Wolf Quest 3. Um, even if I, no matter what I know, all I'm allowed to tell you is about, um, uh, the only thing I'm allowed to tell you is going to be about what the, the devs have already released. So uh, please don't ask for spoilers. You won't get them. <laughs> um, but sometimes after, if there have been, if there's blooper footage, I am allowed to share that. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to get permission to do that again. So, because that'd be really fun. I know a lot of you guys really enjoy my moose bloopers. <laughs> um, and I'm sure if, if they're completely re-releasing the game, I mean, they've already released a few bloopers. So I'm pretty sure that um, and with any time there's a large update, there tends to be some quite humorous bugs. So hopefully I'll get the, the ability to do that again. We'll see. Again, it's completely up to the devs. If they don't want me releasing bloopers, I'm going to respect that. Um, but I'm hoping that after it comes out, I will get the chance to share some of that because that would be wonderful. <laughs> um, but let's see. Let's make our way this way and head back to the den. How's our food? It's doing well. Um, but yeah, Wolf Quest 3 looks amazing. Um, it, this game already, I already love the game so much, and it looks like it's about to get ten times more awesome, which I never would have thought was possible, uh, because it already has been amazing. And so, also to see this game go from the game I knew when I was really little and played for ages, um, to not only is it still around ten years later, and doing well, but it's completely thriving. And that's something that I am so thankful for because honestly, this game is incredible. And uh, I'm, I'm super excited for it. Um, what was my favorite litter in Shelter 2? So it's really hard to pick litters and it's really not because of, like I don't, I don't tend to pick them for their, their personality, but this one has been absolutely incredible. And for the story of it, 
and what happened with this most recent litter, it has been absolutely insane. Uh, that's starting with episode, uh, episode 13 of, uh, season three is the most recent litter. If anybody's watching this after and <laughs> there's more, uh, episode, starting at episode 13 of season three, the most recent litter we've had has been absolutely insane. And, um, so that's definitely been by far one of my one of my favorites as far as just the story alone is just so incredible. So definitely one of my favorite ones. Uh, not because of the kittens themselves. Again, it's kind of like you can't you can't really pick a favorite kitten in most cases. Although some of them do tend to have quite a lot of personality. Um, but uh, as for favorite litter, this has definitely been one of the most amazing we've had and one of the stories that has resonated with me the most. Oh man, we were so close. Okay, can we get him? Can we get him? Maybe we're a little ways back. Let's see. Um, yeah, I can't wait either. I'm really looking forward to getting to try it out and experience all the new gameplay with you guys because it looks like it's going to be incredible. Um, uh, talking about Wolf Quest 3 again, kind of jumping back. Uh, what's my favorite animal? Um, uh, I, again, I'm very partial to canines, but I really do love all animals. Um, the blooper video from Wolf Quest, A Very Limber Wolf. Yeah, that's that's accurate. It's a little bit more developmental than most of the bugs we testers run across, but nevertheless, absolutely hilarious. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to them already, go check out WolfQuest's channel, um, because they release some amazing videos, and uh, some of them are quite hilarious, and the others are just plain cool to watch. So <laughs> definitely check out their channel if you haven't already, and that's also the best way you can keep updated with WolfQuest 3, because uh, it will be coming out at some point. Uh, I'm not entirely sure when, but when it does come out, uh, that's the best way you guys can get updates with that, or on it as it gets closer to its release. Um, when are we ending? We're probably going to be wrapping up pretty soon here because it's about time, and so I was actually just going to say, if anybody has any less, last questions, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually save the game here. Um... And then I'll linger on the title screen for a little bit longer in case anybody has extra questions that you didn't get to ask. So we're going to go ahead and quit to the title, and then if anybody has last questions here, I think uh, I'll go ahead and take those. Uh, but then after this, we'll go ahead and wrap up the stream here. So, yeah, Floppy Moose has a friend. Uh, can we play Warriors Untold Tales? We actually did, and like I mentioned earlier in the stream, I think it was... Um, the reason we haven't been playing as much Warriors Untold Tales recently is because, again, it just didn't have as much interest as a lot of our series do, and, um, so we did play it a little bit, and it may very well come back if people do show interest in it again, but for the time being, it's on hold. Let's see. Um, if anybody has any last questions, I'll stick around for those, but otherwise we will be wrapping up pretty soon here, so... Uh, can we play The Long Dark? Um, I'll look into that one. I think my main reservation was that with that one was that it was more about, it seemed like more about fighting nature than about uh, working with it. So like, if you look at Ark, that's more about working with the environment. The Long Dark is kind of, may, The Long Dark might be kind of similar to Subnautica in that respect though. About It's less about taming things, and so maybe we might we might look at that at some point. Um, but, uh, we'll, we'll see. For now, again, I have quite a list of games, and I haven't looked into The Long Dark that much. There's some other games that I'm probably going to look into first. Um, let's see. Um, what inspired my path to YouTube? Okay, that's a great question. <laughs> um, I talk about this from time to time. Um, I actually didn't know gaming YouTube was a thing. I wasn't really on the internet until just a few years back, at least not mainstream, uh, not in mainstream media. And so I didn't really know gaming YouTube was even a thing until probably three or four years ago, maybe a little longer than that now. Um, I started watching videos by Ethos Lab. He's a Minecraft YouTuber. He's really cool. Um, and I noticed for the first time, because I had always assumed that YouTube was just naturally kind of dirty and that there was a lot of swearing and whatnot. But he showed that you can actually 
not have that in your videos and do well. And because that's a value of mine, I don't swear even my personal life. That's another question that I get asked a lot is, do you actually swear or do you just keep it clean for the channel? No, I don't even swear in real life. Um, I have a pretty high standard of, honestly, I prefer family friendliness, even in my own entertainment for my own reasons. Um, but the fact that somebody could do that, do a video and not have all that, and to have a channel and still be able to do well, that showed me there's a place for that in YouTube and that people still do care about that kind of thing. And uh, I also watched some of series videos a while later and uh, both of that, their um, channel, both of their, watching both of their videos kind of led me into thinking, well, maybe I could do this as well. Cause you know, Siri does all the animal and nature games as well. And um, I just have never really been into a lot of the quote mainstream games and stuff. <laughs> and so I wondered, well, would there really be a place for that? And uh, the fact that Siri has done well in this, uh, this kind of niche of gaming has uh, shown me that there is a place for this. And there are people out here who are interested in the animal games. There are people out there who watch that kind of, of thing. And so between the two of them and their channels, they really inspire me to go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> and uh, from then on, I think the probably the biggest thing, so I did, my first two series were Minecraft, and I started them, I advertised them on the Minecraft forums, and got a little bit of notice from that, but not all that much. Um, but then I started working with Niche, and uh, I started playing their game, because I thought it was really cool, and I thought, well, why not try playing it on YouTube? And I, so I started playing that, and uh, they started promoting my videos because I was promoting their game, and um, so... Uh, because I worked so much with them, they helped me gain quite a bit of an audience, and they really helped me get started. I started playing Wolf Quest as well, and they also supported my videos. A lot of the game, see, the thing is, a lot of the games I play, a lot of the, the developers will support my videos as well, and so it kind of works in, it's kind of a mutual relationship. My videos support their games, and uh, so they will support my videos. It kind of goes both ways. <laughs> And so by getting involved with a lot of the developers of these different games and by working with them, uh, then I, w I was able to kind of start gaining an audience through all of that. Now, that's technically how it all worked. That's the technical details of it. But uh, as for what inspired me personally to do it, I think the biggest reason has just been, well, two things. First of all, I've noticed there isn't a lot of content out there in the regards to uh, people keeping it family friendly. And that's always just been a value of mine. I don't appreciate when stuff is really dirty or there's a lot of language or a lot of adult content or needless violence. I just don't appreciate that. <laughs> it's not what I look for in entertainment and I, I don't really understand the appeal in it. And uh, I didn't see a lot of people creating alternative content. So that was for one of my first reasons is I wanted to put some of that out there because I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels this way. And I know I'm not because I've had people tell me that I'm not. Um, I hate watching a YouTuber and being like, okay, this person's really cool and they do a really good job at what they do, but they swear every 10 seconds and that bothers me so I can't watch their videos. I hate that. And so I want to create an, a community and a channel that doesn't have that, doesn't have all those, that, that doesn't have all that happening and that I don't want anybody to say I can't watch J plays because of the content. Now, it's one thing if they don't agree. I know I hold some very different views than a lot of people in regards to things like evolution or whatever. I do hold some different views, and I also want to make people think because uh, I feel like a lot of the time people are taught only one perspective, and okay, maybe that perspective could be right in some cases, but it's important to be able to think for yourself and to not just take what you're given, but to be able to go and learn on your own. And so I also want to be able to inspire people to do that. And... Uh, to not just take what they're hearing from everyone and uh, to be able to go and um, and, to, and to, to find out on their own instead of just accepting everything. So I know some people may not always agree with my views, but I don't want anybody to feel restricted from watching my videos based off the content. So I don't swear. I don't include adult jokes. I'm very careful about the content. If there's going to be violence, like ARC can be a little bit more violent or some of our series can be a little bit more violent, then I try to label it so that it's not like somebody would come on here and be like, oh my gosh, this is not at all family friendly or whatever. Um, I don't want people, I, I want people on 
the channel to not feel limited by my content because I've felt limited by others' content. <laughs> um, and so that's the first reason. The other reason is that in uh, a lot of the past few years, I've had some hard times in my life. Uh, and, it, you know, it's normal. Life is sometimes not, um, life is sometimes just not, it's not always nice. It's not always happy. But uh, some of what helped me get through some of these tough times was watching other people's videos and to be able to kind of step away from the struggles I was experiencing personally and to kind of step into the into the world of the stories they created and into the world of their videos was a nice break from the weight of my real life in some ways. And so it's that the fact that their videos could cheer me up and could help me when I was getting depressed, uh, I want to be able to be that I want to be able to do that for other people to kind of give them a place to step away and just breathe, to not have to be constantly in the darkness, in all of this, in the weight of real life, because sometimes it can be really weighty, it can be really hard. And to give somebody just a chance to kind of step back from all that and to just breathe is so important. And to be able to encourage people that's always something that I've wanted to be able to do and to be, to have, I've had people tell me that my videos have encouraged them and that's honestly just such an amazing honor to be able to, to have that kind of an impact in people's lives. So that's such a huge reason as to why I do what I do. Now, um, pardon me, I kind of went on long on that question. Hopefully I'm not missing too many questions, but I want to, um, uh, I'll, I'll, let me try and go through again as well. Um, yeah, I, I wish the games that I played were more popular, but unfortunately it seems like a lot of people nowadays are just interested in shooter games, <laughs> just to use an example. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's as much of a... As, there's not as much interest in some of these games as I wish there were. Like, I wish Wolf Quest was so much more popular because it's an amazing game and it's got so much educational value to it and the devs are amazing, the people working to put it out there are amazing, the community is incredible, and uh, I wish it was more popular, but unfortunately, a lot of the time, they're not. Maybe someday I'll get to the point where I could make something popular. Who knows? If enough people start watching my videos, it could have an impact, but uh, who knows? Who knows what the future will, will bring? But yeah, I definitely wish some of these uh, some of these videos were more, um, uh, or some of the games were more popular and more known. Uh, do I ship Floppy Moose and Limber Wolf? Um, I don't think that's, I don't know. I, I don't think, I don't know. I, I That seems a little bit counter to what nature might, <laughs> what nature might allow. Generally, when you have a predator species and a prey species, especially in the natural environment and not in captivity, they're not going to have any sort of a friendship, let alone a ship ship. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so with the whole thing with evolution, a lot of the time I don't bring it up. Um, but uh, okay, so I can address it a little bit. I'm actually a creationist. I am a Christian. And I don't believe in evolution because I think regardless of how much it's taught, it is still a theory. And there's actually a lot of evidence out there that points against it. For example, there's a lot of gaps in the fossil record, and there's just a lot of things that seem to point against it. I've gone more into detail in that. If, you, if you're more interested in this, go back and watch our Spore series, because I talked about it in more detail there in some of the first episodes especially, and I provided some uh, information, I think, in the description and in the comments for that. So that was, I talked about it a little bit more because we're wrapping up. I don't really want to get into it a lot right now, but, um, but yeah, so I don't want to inspire I, argument over that, but I do think it's important to debate and to research for yourself because especially with stuff like evolution, but even with other things as well, it's something that everybody's taught as fact. And there's actually, there's some counter arguments to it. There's some good points that are brought up against it. And so I, what I want is... I don't want it to, I don't want people to believe one way or the other because of I like I don't I don't want to I don't want you guys I don't want you guys to go oh evolution must be wrong because Jay says it's wrong. I want you guys to go well there's two views here and I'm going to go find out which one I think is right. I don't want people to just accept what they're told. 
I want you guys to learn to be able to go find out for yourself, to not just accept whether it's me, whether you're, it's your teachers. I don't want people to just say, oh, this person said this, so it must be right, because that's how bad, that's how, that's how, that's how, that's how history, I mean, those, all throughout history, it's when people start following blindly that really bad things happen. We need to be, we need to be thinkers. We need to think for ourselves. And so if you guys decide that you believe evolution is true, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with you that on you that point, but I want it to be your decision. If you guys decide that maybe evolution isn't as credible as a lot of people think it is, I want that to be your decision. I don't want it just to be because of what I say or what because of your teachers say. I want it to be because of you and what you personally believe. So that's as much as I'm going to say on uh, on the evolution thing because I don't want it to be a discussion. I think there can be, I, or I don't want it to be an argument. I think there can be some benefit to a debate, but because the stream's wrapping up, I think now is not the time. If you guys are more interested in that, I did talk some more about it in my Spore video, and I believe I even had some additional resources in that. So if you guys look up the old Spore series in the first episode, especially, I did go over some of that. So let's see. Um, oh, thank you, Fox. Hopefully the channel will continue to grow. <laughs> I mean, it is growing pretty quickly right now, but I hope it will continue to do so. Uh, honestly, I would love to be able to do this as a living and to have a large enough channel to be able to support myself off of it, because that would mean that I could devote so much to doing this and to continuing on with this and not have to worry about uh, at some point getting another job to support myself. But we'll see how we'll see what the future holds. If it is possible, as long as I can continue this channel, I definitely want to. Um, oh yeah, Wolf Quest is an amazing game, and I'm glad to see that it is gaining popularity, and I'm really thankful that Siri has been playing it, because I think she has brought a lot of attention to them, and she's also done a lot to try and correct a lot of the incorrect views on, uh, wolves, wolves and, like, the old ranking structure. I know she's been trying to teach the newer science on that, which it's not to say that it was bad that that system ever came into being, it just, it's old science. Science is constantly changing. And uh, as we learn new things, sometimes we realize that the old things maybe weren't quite as true as we thought they were. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, basically, um, that's the that's what I say with that. And so I, I think Siri has done a really good job promoting Wolf Quest, and I'm thankful she has. Let's see. Um, let me see. Uh, do swans mate for life? They have a reputation of, I don't know, I haven't actually researched. See, the thing is, too, sometimes you guys ask me these great questions and I don't know everything off the top of my head. So that'd be something I'd have to go and look up and find out. Uh, I've heard that they do, but I don't know if that's actually accurate. Um, yeah, again, it's one of those things where you really, if you, if you, first of all, if you are going to debate with people on the subject of science or on the subject of anything, you want to have facts but it also needs to be something you also need to to always challenge and okay full, dis, full disclaimer here when i say always challenge what you're told that doesn't mean that if your parents go tell you to clean up after the dog you go well i'm gonna challenge no i'm talking about facts <laughs> i just don't want anybody to misquote me <laughs> um but when it comes to facts always challenge what you're told and find out for yourself don't just believe what you're told be it from any source. Go look it up. Find out what's out there. Find out what views are out there. And then decide based off all sides of the evidence what you believe. Um, have I ever had any pets that aren't cats or dogs? Yes, I have. I've had... I've had a lot. Um, I have had a, an assortment of bugs and insects and I think arachnids and other small critters when I was young. I kept some lizards at one point. I had a pair of chickens at one point. <laughs> um, they, well, not full grown. They were chicks and they grew up. Um, and I've had fish, but for the most part, I had a hamster as well. For the most part, I've had cats and dogs. Well, I've only ever had Sierra as my, than my only dog, but I've had five cats <laughs> over the course of, uh, over the course of my life. Um, let's see. Um... I am rambling. I, I am rambling. <laughs> uh, it's probably about time to wrap up here. Let me just see if there's any last questions. Um, let's see. 
yeah, the mods have to go. Um, so let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks like everybody's probably pretty much heading off. So I'll stick around for just a few more minutes, but the mods have to go. My voice is going to die. I need to be able to record videos for tomorrow. So yeah, uh, good night, everyone. If there's any last questions, I will, um, will try to answer them. But it's also probably getting late for some of you guys. So I think I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, I'll just give it a little bit more here. All right. Um, all right. Um, I unfortunately don't know what that ship is. I'm not that into warriors. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the stream. So I will see you guys later. See you guys in the videos tomorrow. Why am I waving? You can't actually see me. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay. I, uh, I will see you guys later then. Goodbye, everyone. It's no, no, you're going to be slow to end. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, goodbye, everyone.